celebration event. OER oh, yeah, is celebrating the work and the projects, the investigations that you guys have done. You have great ideas, you have great solutions, you have great investigation and, and scientific practice going on methodology. The work you do will form a very important component in dealing with the challenges of teenagers. We tested NO2 levels and got an insight into air quality. We found that because we're located in a valley and there's a heavy flow of traffic, we have a high level of nitrogen dioxide. It empowers students to find out what is happening in their local environment. So they're not just researching information, they're really finding information for themselves, owning it. Well, that's what citizen science is about. In this part of Globe's project investigation, we were focusing on the CO2 levels because that's what mainly everyone's talking about. focus was air quality and we decided to focus on nitrogen dioxide. The results were almost as we expected. Around traffic areas there was more nitrogen dioxide, but our school is quite near the M50, so the uh, environment and the landscape really shapes where pollution affects. It leads to ideas where you could build, say, playgrounds or schools, especially like for younger kids up on higher levels so they wouldn't be as affected by the pollution. Dealing with issues of sustainability it doesn't have to be anything abstract or esoteric. It's common sense. We have to do it and it makes sense that we do it. idea to encourage students to take part in the GLOBE project because it teaches them more about their surroundings and where they are. That it's raising awareness to young, such young people so we're now more aware of like what we're causing the planet. It's just brilliant. It, it's so so good. It's great to see students so engaged, so knowledgeable, questioning all of us with regard to what we do, how we do it. Um, getting so interested in this program. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Go Globe! Go Globe! Go Globe!